Hey everyone, so Gephi 9.2 has some different features when it comes to importing data than earlier versions of Gephi. Some are good and some are not so great. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through a quick tutorial of how we import things. So if you had an adjacency list before, you'd have to start with source and target as your first line with exactly that capitalization and then put your adjacency list underneath. These could be comma separated, tab separated, whatever. I actually tend to work with tab separated files more often. So I'd look something like this. And I would save these files as usually TDF or tab delimited file at the end. But if we try that, we'll call this test.tdf and then go to Gephi. The way we'd normally import that, I have a new project here, is to do import spreadsheet and then here's my file which I can select, but now I get this error, impossible to find a compatible importer. That never used to happen. It would just try to open the text file. Um, I find this super annoying. You can't even do .txt, so maybe there is some magic to it. The only way that I've found to make this work is actually to save this file as a .csv, even if it's not a .csv, um, because Gephi will at least let you open that. So if I save a copy as .csv and then try again, we can open that here. And it, you can see Gephi recognizes that it's tab separated, but for some reason it just no longer can deal with files um, with non-standard extensions. Another thing that's changed here, so this is working okay, it looks like. It has source and target. We're importing it as an edges table. Um, we now have the second step for time representations. This is for dynamic graphs. Uh, this is a little confusing if you don't have a dynamic graph like ours. We just have a basic adjacency list. So you can just leave whatever's there and go to finish. Now we get this normal kind of import report. And if we say OK, we can see here are our nodes and here are our edges. So that looks great. But what I've also found is that we can make this without the source and target at the top anymore. And I'm going to save this as test2.csv. And if I want, I can import. We'll pick test2 again. And you can see here we have A and B, it's tab separated. And you can see now there's this new option, adjacency list, which didn't used to be there. Before, you just could have a nodes table or an edges table. And the edges table had to have that source and target header. Now you can just import an adjacency list. So I think this is great. This is a big improvement. Um, it looks like it's parsing fine. We do exactly the same process for importing. And I'm going to bring this in a new workspace. And you can see I still get my edges. So it's a little bit different than the previous version of Gephi. That file extension thing threw me for a little while. It's kind of annoying. But now you have this option to just straight up import an adjacency list without putting a header on it, which is pretty nice. So there you go, how to import uh, edge lists and adjacency lists in Gephi 9.2.